Hello and welcome back to another Keep Moving with Emily. I'm Emily, your adaptive fitness trainer, helping you keep moving. The equipment that you're gonna want today are some TheraBands. I've got a booty band. If you've got that, grab that. A regular TheraBand or a TheraBand with handles, either will work, um, but we're gonna get in some fun TheraBand strength and cardio intervals in under 30 minutes. So if you're ready, grab your equipment and let's get started. All right, friends, wherever you're at, let's just take a big breath in up overhead. Exhale it out. As we're breathing and as we're gently moving our bodies, I just want you to check in with your body. How are you feeling today? Think about your fatigue, your cognition, your mood, any pain, spasticity, balance issues, leg weakness, whatever that is, notice it and let that inform you on how you should move today. Give yourself permission to do this seated if you need to. Give yourself permission to try it standing if you need to. Good. We're gonna get in a nice workout in whatever way works best for us so that by the end of the workout, we'll get those endorphins going and we're gonna feel successful and strong. Nice, exhale. Perfect. Let's move into some arm openers. So I'm sitting up nice and tall, my chair core is engaged. Open up those arms, nice and big. Good little chest opener, little squat tap to the side if that works, or we can just stay here, stay up nice and tall, and just opening the arms. If you wanna do this standing, you can always do a side step. Nice. And hello, Angus. Every once in a while, Angus will join me for a workout. Pets count as workout buddies too. Nice, shake out those arms. Let's go into skier. So arms, inhale up, exhale forward. Good, inhale up, reach. Exhale, reach it forward. Nice little hinging motion. We're not going for speed here. Nice, really nice. Reach with those shoulders. Exhale, nice little stretch in that lower back. Good, let's do one more. Inhale it up. Reach, 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 exhale it forward, and sit up nice and tall, nice. Let's get some shoulder rolls in. So glad that you are joining me today. So important for us to take some time out of our day to move our bodies in whatever way works best for us. Any movement is good movement. Good, roll those shoulders forward. Three, two, and one. Let's move into spinal twist. So we're just gonna kind of twist from side to side, reaching across the body. Again, this is our dynamic warm up, so we're just prepping our body for our workout, getting that blood pumping, warming up our muscles. So we're not going for speed. So if our range of motion might be a little smaller because our muscles still aren't warm enough, that's okay too. Good. Three, two, and one. Nice. Place that form on your thigh, reach it up and over, nice little reach overs. Feels so good in the shoulders as you reach up and over to that opposite corner. Good. Waking up the body, warming up the body. Noticing all those muscles that we're gonna be using. Welcome back. One more on each side. Reach and reach. Perfect, let's move into some lower body. Grab underneath the knee, pull the knee up. Point and flex the toe, rotate in the ankle. Nice little ankle mobility here, hip stretch, switch sides. Again, if we're experiencing some spasticity or tightness today, you can do a couple like pull it up, let it go. Whatever feels good, we'll do about three or four on each side. Good. I always notice that my ankles are pretty tight, so this just kind of helps loosen them up. Yep, last one on each side. Good. We'll move into hamstring scoops. Love this one. It's such a fun, like, full body. So extend one leg out, heels on the ground, toes pointed up. I'm going to scoop down, reach. Open up that chest nice and big. Inch forward, reach towards that toe. You got it. Last one here. Hinge it forward, reach, scoop. Beautiful. Other side, extend that leg out. Heels on the ground, toes pointed up, reach and scoop. You know, I always say like, if you've not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, go do that right now so you don't miss a workout and then grab a buddy so that y'all can do this workout together. Working out together is so great, but you're my buddy today. 
Last one, and then we'll finish with windmills. Nice, okay. Arms are extended out, reach opposite hand to opposite ankle, or shin, or knee. Stand up nice and tall each time, getting a nice spinal twist. Working the brain as we work the body. Tapping opposite hand to opposite leg. Good. Last one here. Nice, all right. Shake it out, grab your equipment, and let's get started. All right, friends, I hope you grabbed your TheraBands and some water because you're going to need it. Um, you'll see up on the screen our workout. So we are doing a TheraBand, a little bit of TheraBand strength, and then um, some cardio. And uh, we are going to be working three sets, 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest for each of the exercises up on the screen. So we're going to do those TheraBand lap pulls three times through. Then we'll do squat taps or clamshells three times through so on and so forth. So we're getting in a lot of repetition. This is really great for muscular endurance, cardiovascular endurance. Plus it kind of gives you a chance to figure out the movement, see what works for you, whether you do it seated or standing, and then you go hard for those last two uh, rounds. So if you're ready, I'm gonna put my timer on. We'll get ready in about 10 seconds. So grab your TheraBand. We're starting off with a TheraBand lat pull. So we're reaching that band up overhead and whether we do it seated or standing, we're pulling it towards our chest, pulling those elbows back, squeezing in the shoulder blades and reaching up. The closer your hands are to that TheraBand, the more resistance there's gonna be, so it's gonna be harder. The further out your hands are, the easier it'll be. Cool? If you don't have a TheraBand, you can always go without weight, or you can use your weights, okay? So I'm gonna put my timer on, and we are gonna get started. So get ready, get ready, get ready. All right, in 10 seconds, we're getting started. I'll stay seated. Again, we have three rounds. So you're gonna reach that TheraBand up to the sky, and we're gonna pull it towards our chest and push it back up. Inhales, you reach up. Exhales, you pull it towards your chest. Nice. You should feel this in your back muscles and in those shoulders. Inhale, reach, exhale, pull. If we're seated, is your core engaged? Are you sitting up nice and tall? Nice, standing, shoulder width apart with those feet. Abs are tucked in, glutes are tucked in. Nice. Three, two, one. Rest. Two more rounds. I'll show you the standing option. Sometimes I kind of like to be in a staggered stance too. One foot forward, one foot back. Kind of helps protect the lower back too. Here we go. Pull it towards your chest and push it up. Or we can have feet shoulder width apart and pulling. I guess Angus will be joining us <laughs> for this entire workout. Good. Reach and pull. Working those back muscles, working our shoulders. Core still engaged. Nice. Starting to feel the burn, aren't you? Yeah, me too. Reach and pull. Keep it up, three, two, and one. Woo! Shake out those shoulders, final round, then we're gonna move into the lower body. All right, you ready? Five seconds, we'll get started. Seated or standing, let's go reach high. Pull it towards your chest and push away. So I'm kind of like pushing away at an angle as I reach up to the ceiling. And then as I pull it towards my chest, I'm bringing those shoulder blades together, pulling those elbows back. Yeah, you feel a little different than just like a regular shoulder press. Nice. We got like 10 seconds to go. Finish strong. We're almost there. Keep it up. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Shake it out. Good. All right. We have some time to rest. If you've got your TheraBand, you've got a couple different options. You can do squat taps or you can do clamshells. So if we're seated, we're gonna wrap that TheraBand around our legs, ankles together, pull those knees wide and together. If you have a booty band like this, like a loop, you can also slip it around and you can either do, again, seated clamshells or you can do a squat tap seated. That's also a great option work in those glutes. If we're standing, we can do like squat walk, side steps, or 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. You can also do that in that seated position. So you decide which version works for you. We're working those glutes. We're working that lower body. We're getting started in 10 seconds. So the seated option, again, maybe I'm using my TheraBand and wrapping it around my legs, nice and tight, using that resistance and then pulling those knees open. Three, two, one, so you got that clamshell, open, hold for a couple seconds and come back to center. Great option. You can also tap the foot to the side. Maybe you stick to one side for 30 seconds. Again, we've got three rounds. 
you can do right, then left, and then together. Good. If we need to physically lift, that also works. Good. 10 seconds to go. Then if you've been doing a single side, we'll switch sides next round. Nice. Still sitting up nice and tall. Core is engaged. Rest. Good. Other 30 seconds, we're going to do the other side. Or for those of us standing, maybe you're still doing that side step or you're doing that squat tap. You ready? Let's go. Now this TheraBand is adding resistance. I'm working a little bit of balance, tapping that foot. But if maybe I just want to do some little side steps, keeping that resistance nice and tight, that works too. There's so many different options, whether you want to focus on single side or if you just want to kind of keep going both, that works too. Now, you may have some distractions in your room, like a dog walking around, so just be careful. Do not fall. Rest. Woo! Final round. This time, whether you're seated or standing, we're going to do alternating squat taps or stick with those clamshells. You ready? Let's go. So, I'm going to do a little squat walk. So, maybe I'll do a couple side steps to the right, a couple side steps to the left. Still a little bit of a squat. Good. Keep going. For those of us seated, maybe we're here out to the side, or oh, we're doing that clamshell. Hang on to it. 10 seconds left, stay strong. And we're gonna work that chest and those shoulders. Woo! Stay strong, core is engaged. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice. Go ahead and slip that band off. Good work. Grab that there band again. This time we're gonna go um, a nice little front raise to a chest press and then back down. So whether we're seated or standing, our arms are extended out in front, pull it up to our eye level, pull it towards our chest, and then we push away. You're gonna feel this in your chest, in your back, and in your shoulders. Core's gonna be engaged. Seated or standing option, you decide. I'm gonna start standing, you ready? Let's go. Raise it up, pull it away, and push away. Good. It's kind of like a three-part move. So go front raise. Pull it back to kind of like a row. Push away, that's the chest press, and then lower. Keeping resistance on that TheraBand the whole time. The closer my hands are together, the more challenging it will be. The further my hands are apart, the easier it'll be. Play around with that. It's kind of fun thing about a TheraBand is that you kind of get to control the resistance, right? So if I were to like shorten it, this would be much more difficult, but I'm not gonna do that. We got two more rounds, so we're gonna, you know, be successful, choose options that allow us to finish strong. Nice. Working those shoulders, working that chest, working the back. Good, keep breathing. You got it. Three, two, one, rest. Final 30 seconds, then we'll work that core. Think about the muscles we're working. Shoulders, back, chest. Let's go, final 30 seconds. Focus on these reps, nice good quality reps. Keep breathing, you got it. This is where we're gonna feel that muscular endurance. Muscles are gonna start feeling a little bit more fatigued, a little bit more tired. But by the point that really starts to feel the burn, that's when we're done, which is about now. Three, two, one, rest. Go ahead and take a seat. Whether you're doing this seated or standing, we're gonna use our fair band and we're gonna do a little bit of rowing abs. So I'm gonna have a nice tension on my band. I'm gonna pretend like I'm holding an oar. And we're gonna row and row. So we're working our obliques pushing that weight into the water, kind of keeping tension still on our fair band. You're gonna feel this in those abs. Row, row, row your boat in three, two, one, let's go. So we're gonna work some core. Nice, slow and controlled, big exaggerated movements. You want a little bit more lean back slightly, much more challenging. And then for our final like four rounds, we're going for cardio. We're working that cardiovascular endurance. So heart rate's gonna get up there. Yeah. Out of breath, nice and sweaty. You know, three, two, one, rest. Good. 
two more sets. Angus, you're just gonna do laps today. That works, any movement's good movement, yeah? <laughs> Let's go, round number two. Go Angus, go. Get your laps in, get those steps in. <laughs> oh, I just love my dog so much. He is an old man, he turned 13 this year. Good, but he's been a workout buddy for 13 years, so it's good. Stay strong, keep rowing, keep working those abs, and rest. Nice, we got one. Final round. If the, the going down hurts, you can always just twist from side to side. Here we go. Keeping tension on that band, maybe holding a little bit closer or further out in front and twist from side to side. Yeah, give it a try. You can feel it. If you want to switch to that, go for it. This is our final 30 seconds. And we're gonna do our cardio. Let's go. Cardio, cardio. Let's go, let's go. Stay strong. Three, two, one, rest. Grab a quick swig of water because we're about to move into cardio. Mm-hmm. We got our cherry pickers. Hands to the sky, hands to the hips. If we're seated, we're reaching it forward. If we're standing, hands to the sky, hands to the hips. Mini squat, boom, like so. Are you ready? Choose which version works for you. I like to do a little bit of both. You can always do a combo if you want. I'll start seated. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Get ready, because we are about to begin. Our cherry pickers in three, two, one. You know what to do, let's go. Reach it forward. Now, with our cardio, remember, we have three rounds of each of these exercises, and we got four exercises. So we want to make sure we pace ourselves so if you just want to stick at a nice steady pace like this, that works. If you want it more intense, once you figure out the move, see if you can speed it up. Good. Again, we work for 30 seconds, rest for 10. Really quick little intervals. This is what you call rest. High interval, high intensity interval training. So where we work hard for a period of time and then we rest for a period of time, that's exactly what we're doing here. All right, next round, let's go. This is the standing option if you're doing this one. So I'm not bending all the way down or doing a full squat or letting my head go all the way to the floor because that's a way, good way to get yourself dizzy. So I'm keeping my head up, my chest up. Light a little tiny squat, hands to the sky. Again, anytime we reach hands up overhead, you're getting your heart rate up there. So if you're sitting at your desk and you're feeling a little tired, do a couple, raise the roofs, and that'll help boost your mood. Get that energy flowing. Woo! All right, final round. I love the seated option. Maybe it's because I enjoy like a rower, which is a fun piece of equipment that usually at a gym. That's why I like this one. You ready? Let's go. Good. Reach. And then reach it forward. Stay strong. It's our final bit. Then we're moving in toward jump ropes, which I do not have my handy dandy jump ropes with me that I got off of Amazon. Bummer. That's okay. Three, two, one, rest, nice. So we're just gonna swing those arms. If, you know, jump rope, if that's not your jam, you can always march it out. Cool? Seated or standing, you can add in hops, you can add in a knee raise. This is our cardio. But yeah, if you've got those cool jump ropes from Amazon, grab them. We get started in three, two, one, let's go. Jump rope, so I can march my feet. I can do little hops. This is a great seated option. I can also do like a little heel tap, big swinging arms. Watch out. Good, or I'm just going upper body. Let's go, swing those arms. You got it. Three, two, one, rest, nice. Next set of 30 seconds of jump rope. I'm gonna do this one standing. You ready? Let's go. So I can do a heel tap. I can also jump if that feels good to you. Good. Swing those arms, sidestep, march. Let's go. Or add in a little bit of a hop. You got it. 
or maybe we're just jogging in place or marching in place. Options. Always giving you options. Yes, rest. Last 30 seconds. Then we're moving into a little bit of coordination, narrow to wide. Final one, you ready? Let's go. Come on. Jump rope. We can do anything for 30 seconds. Let's go. Angus, you gonna jump rope with us? Let's go. Come on. Swing those arms. Let's go, let's go. Halfway there, 15 seconds left. Come on. Just think, we're like halfway done with our cardio. Two more exercises. Woo! Three, two, and one. Rest. Grab some water if you need it. All right. Narrow to wide. I love this one. It requires a little bit of coordination. So we're going to go wide, wide, narrow, narrow with the feet. And I can just march my arms. If you want to go wide, wide, narrow, narrow, arms and feet, even better. Standing option, wide, wide, narrow, narrow, wide, wide. You can also speed it up or with the arms. You ready? Narrow to wide. Let's go. Wide, wide, narrow, narrow. Go at your own pace. If you have to say it out loud, sometimes that's helpful. This is a little bit of a cognitive neuromotor exercise. We're working agility. We're working coordination. Again, maybe this first round, we're just trying to figure out the pattern. Wide, wide, narrow, narrow, right? Once you figure it out, speed it up. Yeah. Let's go. Working that cardio. Three, two, one. Nice. I'm going to do a seated version just to show you that option. You ready? Wide to narrow, ready, let's go. Wide, wide, narrow, narrow. So I can march my arms as I do my feet, or if it's easier to go wide, wide, narrow, narrow. Good. Whichever version works for you. Again, speed it up if you can. Get those feet going. Woo! Keep moving, keep grooving, let's go. Five, four, three, Two, one, whoo, final round, final round. Last 30 seconds, narrow it wide. We got this, ready, begin, let's go. Now, a more challenging option is if you've got space, maybe go wide to narrow forward, wide to narrow back. Challenging, yes. Working our proprioception where we are in space. Again, maybe I just step, step, you decide what feels good to you, what is safe to you. I always, you know, safety is always number one priority here. But if you can move forwards and backwards, that makes the exercise even more challenging. Good. And rest. All right. Look, we're already on number eight. Punches. I always try to include some sort of like kickboxing. Good for our mental health. To have a healthy place to channel all of our emotions. Fear, anxiety, stress, feeling overwhelmed. Joyful, angry, whatever it is, we're gonna take it out right here. We've got three sets, 30 seconds of punches, seated or standing. You can do your own thing, you can follow along with me. We start in three, two, one, let's go. I'm just punching straight out in front, really extending that arm all the way out. Envision whatever it is that's frustrating you today, we're gonna punch it out. Good. Let's add a little bit of a jab, a little bit of a twist. Good. Let's go up high. Crossover punches. Let's go. Punch, punch, punch. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Shake it out. This time we're going to kind of add in a challenge. We're going to go single, single, double punch. Single, single, double punch. You ready? Let's go. Good. Single, single, double. Nice. Again, you can always do this one seated. Core is strong. Nice. Can you go up high this time? So up to the corner, double punch, then double punch. Good. Our final round here is going to be a speed round. You ready? Shake it out. Speed round. We're punching as fast as we can. I may say speed bag where we're just kind of making circles. 
up as high as we can over our forehead. But starting with fast punches, let's go. Nice and quick, nice and quick. Punch, punch, punch. Quick, quick, quick. Yes. Quick, quick, quick. Speed bag, let's go. Bring it up towards your face, up high. You can kind of add a little bit of a twist if you want. Nice. Final 10 seconds as fast as you can. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Quick, quick, quick. Get that heart rate up there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Boom. Well done, my friends. Moving on. Ah, oh, friends, we did it. We got in an awesome workout. We've moved our bodies. We have shown ourselves to be stronger than MS or whatever you are walking through. So let's stretch it out. Take a big breath in up overhead. Reach those arms up. Exhale, reach the arms back. Nice chest stretch. Maybe you grab the back of your chair. Maybe you clasp hands behind your back. And we'll just stay here for a couple of seconds, taking a nice big deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Kind of checking back in with our bodies, seeing how we're feeling now after this workout. Maybe you notice pain or spasticity or tightness or your mood was a little off. How are you feeling now? Exhale round in the back, reach those arms forward like you're hugging a tree. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit more loose in those muscles, endorphins are going. Super proud of you. Exhale it out and shake out the arms. Inhale into warrior one, reach arms up overhead. Exhale into warrior two, push those walls away, fingertips up. And bring one arm across your body. Nice little workout that we got in. Super proud of you, yay. Good. Exhale it out, shake it out. Inhale into warrior one. Exhale to warrior two, push those walls away. Other arm comes across the body. Stretch it out. Thanks so much for joining me for another awesome workout. Join me back. Bring a buddy. Share with a friend. Subscribe if you've not yet subscribed. So good. Exhale it out and shake it out. Nice. All right, let's do a nice little spinal twist. Breathe in. Exhale, twist to one side. Big breath in. Exhale, twist to the other side. Breath in. And exhale. Place your right hand on your chair. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, left arm comes over. Nice little, uh, little stretch here in the obliques and the shoulders. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, left arm comes down. Left arm's on our chair. Right arm inhales up. Exhale comes over. Now, if you need to stay in any of these stretches a little longer, go for it. Inhale up and exhale. Come down. Let's grab underneath one of your knees. Pull that knee up towards your chest. Rotate into the ankle. Point and flex the toe. You can hold a little longer on these stretches since our muscles are nice and warm now after our workout. Exhale, lengthen that leg, long heels from the ground, toes pointed up. Reach towards the toe. If you can grab your toe, awesome. Grab your shin or your knee. Nice stretch in that hamstring. Taking a nice, nice deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Good. Grab underneath the knee, pull the knee up, placing the ankle on top of our thigh. Hinge it forward, nice little glute stretch here. Feels so good. Good. All right, pull that knee in, place the foot on the floor, other side. Grab the other knee, pull it up towards your chest, point and flex the toe, rotate in the ankle. Ooh, you might hear a little snap, crackle, pop. Good. Big breath in as you hug that knee to your chest. Exhale, lengthen leg long, heels in the ground, toes pointed up, and reach. Readjust if you need to. Getting a really nice stretch in the back of that leg. If 
use this time to also thank your body for how it's moved for you today, how strong it's been for you today. I think it's important for us to time to be grateful. Pull that knee up, place ankle on your thigh, hinge it forward, notice any tightness. Notice what your body needs. This hip is super tight. Again, if you need to stay in any of these stretches a little bit longer, go for it. But friends, we did it. We got in our exercise today. You can check that box off. Yay. Place that foot on the floor. One more big breath in out to the sky. Exhale it out. Show me those muscles. Boom. So proud of you. Thanks so much for joining me for another Keep Moving with Emily, and I will see you next time. <laughs>